Namaste. Prakash here. There was once this famous, uh, famous Zen master who had uh, a very terrific charm and everyone wanted to become his uh, disciple. And then one of the students who wanted to become his disciple goes and meets the Zen master and says, uh, I want to become your disciple. He says, uh, welcome home. Before you become my disciple, I would like to offer tea, which is the custom here. So the disciple is pleasantly surprised. So they go inside and then uh, the Zen master gets busy in making the tea and the disciple just sits there and waits for the guru to, the master to bring tea for him. So finally when the tea arrives, both of them sit down on the floor which is uh, the custom there and then the guru gives him a cup in his hand says that please hold this cup and I'll pour tea for you. So the disciple takes the cup and then holds the cup in his hand in a lot of anticipation because uh, the master himself is serving him tea and then the master starts pouring tea into the cup and at some point of time the cup gets full but the master continues to pour where the tea continues to spill all over the place. So the disciple is extremely upset but uh, still doesn't know what to do. As it continues to pour, finally he says, uh, please stop. The tea has started spilling all over the place and it's following me too. So the master just smiles and says, uh, I'm sorry but uh, can you do me a favor? So the disciple asks, what? You please pour me tea. And then he takes a cup and then the disciple takes the tea in his hand to serve the master and as he is about to serve, the master just turns the cup bottoms up and then says, uh, please pour tea. The disciple now gets confused further. On the first occasion, the master was continuously pouring tea into a cup where the tea was already overflowing and in the second one, he just put the cup upside down where uh, the bottom was on the top and there is no way he could pour tea into the cup. So he just gets confused and then gives a quizzical look at the master as to what are you conveying. So the master says, both these situations a person cannot become a disciple. The first situation I was pouring tea and it was uh, pouring out of your cup at some point of time. Why? Because the cup had become full. When he came to me, already you were full of prejudices, you were full of preconceived notions, opinions about what is meditation, what is life and what is to be done, what is everything. You had a world view which was completely full. So there is no way you were ready to learn, like that cup which was full, which was not ready to take the additional even drop of tea. You were already full, so whatever I was going to give you is only going to go out. Unless you empty the cup on first situation, I will not be able to give you anything of substance. In the second situation, when you were pouring tea for me, I was keeping the cup upside down and the tea was going out because I was completely closed. People who have an empty cup but still don't have a open heart, an open mind, will not be able to receive anything from anyone, leave alone from a Zen master. The same is true for many of us also. When we meet our spiritual masters, whether it's part of heartfulness meditation or any other system, when we go with a set of prejudices, this is how my master should treat me, this is how my spiritual progress should be, this is what he should give me, this is right, this is wrong, this is how meditation should be done and whatever. We have thousands and thousands of views based on our earlier life exposures and then we expect our master to sort of conform to what we are doing or what we are thinking is right and that stops us from getting what he is capable of truly giving us. The same is true in the other cases also where the cup is empty but the cup is uh, turned upside down. We all maybe don't know enough and we don't know that, uh, we rather know that we don't know enough. But we still, when we meet a master of caliber, we are not ready 
to really receive what he gives. In some sense that we are blocking whatever is coming in because our heart is closed, our mind is closed. And that's why they say that like an umbrella which is open, a heart and mind has to be open to for it to work. Otherwise, what is the point in having an umbrella which is closed? Hence, if you really look at heartfulness practice specifically, the purpose of cleaning takes a lot of significance. Without cleaning, your heart is not going to get empty and without cleaning it, heart is not going to open up. That's why when a master transmits, pray out to that they do a lot of cleaning. From our side also, we can take our own efforts to ensure that in whatever situation we go to the master or in fact to anyone in life, when we keep our cups free and we keep our cups open, not closed, it becomes easy for us to accept life and keep learning and also keep progressing spiritually. Is your cup empty? Is your cup turned upside down? Something to think about? Thank you.